Hello everyone. How are you doing today? Really? How are you? My name is Kirsty and this is episode 36 of Is It Expired? So I filmed this yesterday and I don't know what happened. I went to go edit the file so that I can put it up today and it's gone. It totally corrupted. It's just blank. It didn't do anything. So here we are again. Let's try this one more time. Hopefully it doesn't have any more technical difficulties and uh, let's just get on with it. Here is my disclaimer as always. Please do not use expired makeup. I know what the potential consequences could be. If I get stuck with pink eye or a rash or a breakout or just plain sick, well that's on me. I am taking that risk for myself, but I don't necessarily recommend others do the same. I am trying to like get myself out of the glare here from these, the lights with my glasses on, uh, but it is what it is today. It's fine. Let's backtrack to week 35 and see what I used. And I actually got ready quite a few times, which was great. And then we will move right on over to week 36. Doodle -doo, doodle -doo. There is a puppy barking outside and Flynn is in here trying to figure out where it's coming from. So if you hear panting, he's just hanging out. Two-faced, little black book of bronzers. This is about eight or nine years old. Love it. I think I use just about every shade in here during the week. And I just, I love these products. Way back in the day, uh, probably almost, well, it would have been over 10 years ago for sure. Two-faced had this little uh, try palette and it was three of the leopard products. There was, I think, a blush, a bronzer, and a highlight. And I had that, obviously. Where else would the store be going? But I actually used that entire product, those three powder products, to completion. I finished them. So it gives me hope that I know that I can finish Too Faced bronzers. I just gotta put more love in them. So going back home, but I am going to try and remember that and try to hit pan on a few more of these by the end of the year. That'd be cool. Let's move on to ColourPop because there's a couple items here. First of all, this is the Agave Bloom Creme Shadow. It is just your basic cream shadow. That's a base color. I did use it as more of a primer. I actually kind of got it specifically to do that. I heard other people kind of using it that way. So it makes your eyeshadow pop a little bit more and it's what I've been using it for. It it's just going to go back home. I can't get the lid back on, uh, but it is only a couple years old, so not too worried about it. Next, this is the color pop might be super shock cheek. It is a highlight, but on me, it is too dark to be a highlight. So I use it as a blush topper to give it a little bit more glow. Really, really pretty. This is probably four years old. It's definitely older, but no issues. Loved using it. It's going home. And then Next here I have the Stila Lip Glaze in Persimmon. I have a million of these. I'm trying to use them up. I actually took one when we went out last night and I reapplied it about six times. So I got some good, good use on it and that's all I want to do with these. I want to get rid of at least two organically. I want to use them up in 2024. This probably isn't going to be one of them, but I like the color. It's a really nice uh, berry, ready berry shade. Uh, it's like a strawberry. I wouldn't I don't, what color are persimmons? I can't think of a persimmon right now. It's just going to go right back in its home. And I'm just going to try to keep using these, like throw them in my bag. They're easy. A lot of them are light colors enough that I don't need a mirror to put it on. I can just slap it on and go and it's not going to look like a mess. So that's what I'm going to do. And last, my Shaney Cosmetics Loose Pigment in the 37 shade, purple. It's uh, like a very, it's a flaky more than a glitter. And I love that because when you put it on, it just grabbed the light really beautiful. So let me put up a couple of looks here. I did pair it with some fun colors. I went a little wild some days and some days I went a little more neutral. And so I didn't take photos of those, but it is what it is. Here's a couple for you to look at. <laughs> It's my lazy day today. I did not expect to be filming. I was not anticipating this. I literally threw on a quick face of the items and, and this is what we're doing. So these are about 10 years old, but there's nothing wrong with them. They're just loose pigments. So I would like to get more use out of these. And that was week 35. Let's move on to week 36. 
All right, so I'm actually going to start with this. And the reason I'm starting with this, this is the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in the shade 0L, which is just the black. And if you can tell, it's empty. So I pulled this one out and I went to test it on my hand and sometimes they do get a little bit dry. So I just give them a sharpen and it will warm them up a little bit. It takes off that outer layer that gets crusty. And uh, I don't know if that's the right word, but you know what I'm saying. Like they dry out and you get some fresh product when you sharpen them. So this one, I went to sharpen it. And when I pulled it out there, it's just empty. It's gone. So this is an empty. However, I do have two of these. So uh, I said, whatever, let me just grab that other one then. And I pulled this one out and this one like still works really beautifully. It's still creamy. I did give it a sharpen and it seems to be working fine. So I'm going to use this one instead and see if I can get some use on it. We'll do it that way. These were just like travel size little mini ones. So there's not a ton of product in them. And I think I can probably get this one out of my collection shortly too. And then this is my Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Blusher in All I Think About Is You. Just a really pretty natural looking blush. I do believe I got a set of like five of these eight years ago, nine years ago. Oh, that Makeup Forever eyeliner has got to be eight or nine years old too. Both of them. They're both old. Uh, eight or nine years. No, this is yeah, no, that sounds about right. That would have been my very first ever order for Makeup Revolution. So yeah, eight or nine years ago. Where does the time go? Am I right? Anyway, I did get a set of, I believe, five of these and I used one up. I have completely used one up, so I'm down to four. I'm going to get some more use on these. They are baked, so once the pan is flat, like it's that's flat, it's usually those waffle pans, and I think that's what it was underneath, if I recall correctly. So I'm going to get some use on this. It's just nice, soft, natural. Moving on. This is the Comey Hydrating Lip Serum. This I just got in a duo at winners or marshalls probably a year and a half two years ago and i got it in a duo with an eye serum now the only reason i picked these up was because i was at winners and i was hurting for an eye cream at the time and now i have like six in my back stock that i have to go through but at the time i didn't really have any and i just kind of grabbed and went and i was like oh yeah lip and eye in one okay perfect this i have been working on for quite some time my issue with it and it's it's a weird one it's very thin and I don't feel like it does a lot in regards to like nourishing and hydrating so there's that but also if you can see I do have quite a use on quite a bit of use but it's like very white and very creamy and it doesn't absorb very well so it leaves you with this white milky creamy gloss looking thing on your lips that doesn't look very appealing. It really doesn't. So I only use this at night because if you're out, like it's going to leave you with that weird milky look. And I'm not into that. It looks very strange. So this is more of a night serum for me, for sure. And uh, that's how I'm using it. Moving on. All right. This is my She Glam Wretched Romance liquid lipstick in Sorceress. It's just like a mahogany brown color. Sure. There's not a whole lot left actually, which is kind of nice. And what I've actually been doing is using it as a cream blush and on my lips. And that's what I did yesterday and today. So I'm getting quite a bit of use on it. And honestly, I don't know, like it already seems like it's at the end. So I have a whole week to go. I might be able to finish this if I continue to use it multiple places because it is a cream as well and I find it stays on really well I might even try to use it as a cream eyeshadow we will see what happens but I think yeah these are little there's not a ton of product in them these like Halloween collection 2022 2021 I don't remember one of those uh and I have the whole collection and I really really like them but they are getting a little bit older and if I can use them up great fabulous get going next Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon. This is old. This is probably eight years old, but still smells like cocoa. Eh, can't really move here. Uh, I do have dents on a lot of these shades. I don't have any pans in this palette, which kind of bums me out because I love this palette. It's just neutral, and I guess I don't really gravitate for neutral palettes that often, which is kind of funny. 
I should always have one out so that I can have like a base for my bright shadows, but I just, I go big, man. I just go big. So I don't think about pulling out neutral palettes that often and I love it. It's been really nice to just kind of have a very soft natural look the last couple days. That is not something I usually do, so it's a little unique for me and uh, I've been, been digging it. Been nice. I'm not even wearing fake lashes, which is really weird, but I do like this. The shades are still really beautiful. I have no issues with the pigment. There's no hard pen or anything weird going on with the palette, so I'm just going to keep using it. And I definitely may bring out some fun shades, fun palettes, and uh, <laughs> accompany them together. Yeah, that's the plan. I'm, I'm probably going to do that if I get bored of neutral looks because I am a very bright, bold person and I like to do the bright, bold looks. So I might do that, but we'll see. I'm digging it. I'm looking forward to using this this week. And that's it. That's all. There is an empty, which is exciting, but then I had a replacement. So it is what it is. It's one of those things that I had two of. So I'm just like, eh, whatever. Let's just bring in the other one then. And uh, yeah, very easy things to work with this week. Very simple. I can do basic. And then I can definitely bring in other things to get a bolder look. But today is Sunday. And uh, I was not expecting to get ready by any means. I was not expecting to put on a face at all. I was expecting to be a complete lazy mess this whole day because it has been a very long week. And it was a rest day for me. So this is short and sweet. And that's everything uh, so that I can maybe go for a nap just for fun because I can. Have a wonderful day, evening, weekend journey, and I will see you all next time.